Greetings, everybody. I'm Nick DiVirgilio. It's that time of year, and we're going to talk the hottest gifts for drummers. I've made my list. I've checked it twice. I've definitely not been naughty. I've been very nice. Now let's make our way over there and check out the gifts. Okay, we're going to start with the small stuff and make our way up to the big stuff throughout this video. The first thing to talk about is some dampening. Snare drum dampening is huge for us drummers, especially in the recording studio. I have two great products from Snare Weight. The first one is the number five snare weight. This is a very heavy piece that you attach to the rim of your drum. You have a couple of different options as far as the dampening is concerned, and it's magnetized. It just sticks right onto the bottom of the snare weight. Attach it to your hoop, and you're good to go. Another option is the M80 leather strap. Again, it just attaches right to the hoop of the drum. No sticky gels or anything like that. They come in different sizes and in different colors. There's black and brown versions of the M80. So you get whatever one you want. And the dampening it does on the drum, the way it makes the drum sound is very cool and you can adjust it to your liking. Next is an extremely cool piece. Who likes bacon? Everybody likes bacon. Who likes sizzle on their cymbals? Everybody likes sizzle on their cymbals. Well, grab yourself the Meinl cymbal bacon. Attach it to the rod of your cymbal stand. Let the chain do its sizzle magic and you're gonna have a great cymbal sound. Next, let's talk drum keys. The drum key is probably the most important tool for any drummer's stick bag. I have some great ones to show you here today. First is the Evans Torque Key Drum Key. It's a very sturdy key, but what's cool about it is that you set the tension you want your tension rod to be at, turn the torque key, when it gets there, it stops, and you can set the exact same tension to every rod on any drum of your kit. Next up is probably the greatest drum key ever produced, in my opinion, the Remo Quick Tech Magnetic Drum Key. The reason it's so good is it's magnetic, it'll hold on to your tension rods, but this little rubber piece on the top makes it easy to turn the key when it's connected to the tension rod. It's big, it's sturdy, it feels good, and it's just a great way to tune your drums with this key. Next up is the Pearl PTT13 Drummer's Tech Tool. It's a multi-tool that has everything you're gonna need on it. Drum keys, hex keys, flathead screwdrivers, Phillips screwdrivers, all kinds of stuff, a great thing to have in your bag. Last but not least, a very cool piece is the Evans Drill Bit Drum Key. Changing heads can take some time, especially if you have a DW drum kit that has the true pitch tension rods that have like three times the amount of threads as a normal tension rod. It could take a lot of time if you have a normal drum key, even one of these great ones I have here, to change your heads put this drill bit on your drill and cut the time of changing heads by a half or even more with this Evans drill bit drum key. Now the last little accessory I wanna show you here is a great piece for cutting holes in your bass drum head. We used to have to take a big coffee can, outline the hole with a Sharpie, take a razor blade and cut the hole and it'd be kind of jagged, not very neat. Well, the bass drum holes hole cutter is perfect. You pick the size of the hole you want, cut the hole out, you have a perfectly round hole with no jagged edges. Now, let's move on to some percussion. Percussion makes a wonderful gift for any player. First thing I wanna show you is this, the LP Vibra Slap. What a classic instrument this is. It's not just for Latin music either. Check out Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train and you'll hear this instrument at the top of the song. Oh yeah. Next up is the Meinl Sonic Energy 17 note kalimba. Kalimbas are fantastic, and we have a huge selection of kalimbas here at Sweetwater. All kinds of different woods with different inlays, different colors, smaller sizes with less notes if you want that. Uh, just a beautiful instrument to uh, bring some peace into anybody's life to create music with. These are great mellow instruments while you're sitting watching TV. Hit some notes. Sounds beautiful, can really relax you. It's a beautiful, relaxing sound. These are fantastic gifts. Next up is one of the most beautiful sounding percussion instruments out there, the Sella Melody Tongue Drum. These instruments are perfect for a nice mellow sound when you wanna relax after a nice hard day at work. You can definitely create beautiful music with this. All kinds of different situations this is a great instrument for. Tongue drums come in a bunch of different tunings too. This one is the D Akabono tuning. Oh, so nice. Imagine just you know, after hard day's work, you sit down, got a little fire going, play your tongue drum. You'll be off to Zen land before you know it. Last thing to mention, they come in different sizes and all kinds of different colors. Definitely check out a tongue drum. Now, making my way to this side, a fantastic gift for any drummer, the LP Aspire Jam Jury Wood Bongos. Bongos are so much fun to play. 
great for Latin music, pop music, rock music, all kinds of stuff. You don't have to just play them with your hands either. You could play these with sticks, mount them to the left side of your kit, and kind of percussionize your drum kit. Lots of fun. Next, we're gonna go into some accessories. Let's talk about this guy, the throne I'm sitting on right now, the Gibraltar 9608 Softy Drum Throne. Fantastic double braced legs and a really soft seat. When you're sitting behind your drum kit, you wanna have a nice seat to sit on because you're gonna be playing a long time. You don't wanna get fatigued in your legs. This drum throne feels fantastic. Next, every drummer needs new sticks and even a new bag. This is a very cool piece, the Promark Fire Grain Stick Bundle with a Bag. Promark Fire Grain 5A Sticks. These are great balanced sticks. They feel great, they'll last a really long time, and a very nice looking bag to hold the sticks. Next, every drummer needs a great set of brushes. The Vic Firth WB brushes are really amazing. The great thing about these brushes is that they have a really great feel in the hands. The texture on the plastic here is sort of beefy and strong. The brushes come out very smoothly. And since this plastic is hard, you can play nice backbeats. So you can play pop music, not just jazz with these brushes, but then when you need to go back and just do some nice swing on the snare drum, these are fantastic for that. We're gonna stay with accessories right now and talk about the Zildjian Reflex Practice Pad. Every drummer should have a great practice pad at home to work on technique and just to kind of always keep the blood flowing. What's cool about this pad is it has two sides with a different feel on each side. Grab a stick, place it on the table, practice your rudiments, your rolls, all kinds of things. Get a different feel on either side. Has a little bit of a different sound too. And practice to your heart's content. Next up is a fantastic cymbal bag from Meinl, the waxed canvas cymbal bag. This one comes in green. They make different colors as well if you need it. This is a fantastic feeling cymbal bag. Lots of space to hold your hats and other smaller cymbals. Dividers on the inside to keep your cymbals nice and scratch free and not rubbing up on each other. This is great. Next up, we're gonna go down to the kick drum with a fantastic pedal from Ludwig, the L203 Speed King. Now I grew up playing a Speed King way back, gosh, I think my original pedal came from the 60s. This design has been around forever. They reintroduced the Speed King not too long ago, just updated all the parts from the old version. It's really smooth, has the classic look of the old Speed King, and you can play all kinds of music with the Speed King too. Jazz, hard rock, punk, anything with the Ludwig Speed King. Any drummer in your life would love this as a gift. Now say you just gave that L203 Speed King pedal to your favorite drummer, and you also wanna give them some different options for sound from their kick drum pedal. Well, you can do that. Just grab a couple of different beaters to add to the kick drum pedal. In my right hand here, I have the Ahead Vintage Boom Beater a nice big fluffy beater to give you a softer sound from your kick drum. The beater I have here in my left hand is from Low Boy. It's the Low Boy Leather Daddy kick drum beater. These are fantastic. The design gives it a great feel in the throw. The throw is when you push the beater towards the head. This design just makes it great for that. It's called Leather Daddy because it has a leather patch here on the front. You can get these beater with no patch at all, just the wood, a felt beater, all kinds of different options from Low Boy. These are great beaters when you wanna get a different sound out of your kick drum. Okay, let's talk volume. Drummers, we always get tagged for being too loud. Drums aren't loud, it's the person hitting the drums. If the drums are too loud, tell the person to play quieter. But with that said, <laughs> say you live in an apartment or somewhere where you just can't have the volume of a full-on drum kit. Well, this option right down here to my right is fantastic. The Evans DB1 low volume cymbal and drum head kit. Drum heads to fit a typical five piece kit. They feel really nice. These heads are really great for a number of different reasons. It's a mesh head, but you actually get some tone out of the head. You have a patch here in the middle, which will protect the head so you can play these really forever. They're never gonna wear out. Also, the dampening on the inside is what brings the tone and the feel to the head. Tighten it up however you want, and you'll get pitch from high to low throughout your toms. The kick drum head also feels really great, so you can practice to your heart's content at really low volume levels. Now, the cymbals feel equally cool, and you get tone out of those as well. In the cymbal set, you get a ride, two crashes, and a set of hats. All the perforated holes here bring the volume down by a ton. Listen how quiet it is, even just in this video studio right here. 
They have a nice feel in the hands, very similar to a real cymbal without all the holes in it, of course. So you can practice properly, utilizing all your technique, practicing your fills, your rudiments, your grooves with the Evans DB1 low volume set. A second but equally fantastic low volume option is the Tama True Touch Training Kit. They come in a couple different sizes, a four piece or a five piece. Everything is very compact, all connecting to that one stand over there. And some of the features are this. This snare drum pad actually has ball bearings in the center so it sounds like a snare drum, just at a very low volume. Those ball bearings on the inside give you a little bit of a snare buzz sound. The tom pads have great rebound, feel really nice. You do get some tone out of those as well. And the kick drum pad has a nice, soft feel, perfect for practicing. Next, we're gonna bypass all that low volume stuff and go for full on drum volume. The Pearl Sensitone Heritage Alloy Brass Snare Drum. This one has a gorgeous black nickel finish over the brass. I have an older version of this exact drum that I've been using for years. It is fantastic. It feels great, has a great crack and sound to it, records wonderfully. This is a great drum to add to anybody's snare collection. Next, let's go low end. Let's go down with the low end thunder with this awesome drum from SJC, the UFO drum. You've seen a lot of drummers out there with gong drums. Those are pretty much full size bass drums with just the one head usually set off to the left. Although I think Todd Zuckerman puts one on his right. Either way, you get a loud, big, low end thunderous tone. This drum from SJC, 20 inch in size, a little bit shallower, beautiful finish, natural maple finish here. Just a fat, thunderous low end tone out of this drum. Any drummer would love to put this on their kit, guarantee it. We're down to our last couple of gifts for the hottest gifts for your favorite drummer in your life. We're gonna go electronics now. The Alesis Strike Multipad. What a cool piece of gear this is. So many great sounds come in it. It lights up in beautiful ways. You can customize it to your taste. The pads feel really good in the hand so you can play it all day long. You can add extra triggers. It's really easy to use and customize. A fantastic piece of electronics to add to your acoustic kit. You want a hybrid drum kit? This is a great piece to add to it. Last, but certainly not least, is the Yamaha EAD-10. This is an incredible piece of gear for any drummer. This piece is actually a microphone. You connect it to the hoop of your kick drum. Then it picks up all of the drums in your kit, sends the sound through the microphone into the unit, and you can morph your acoustic drums into so many different things. Add effects like distortion, reverb, delays, modulation. Have you ever heard your drums while you're playing them with distortion or delay or modulation? And I'm not talking after you've recorded and you're listening to the playback. I'm talking while you're playing. You can do that with the Yamaha EAD-10. All kinds of different options and it's really easy to use. Just turn the knobs and change the sound while you're playing. You can also add some other triggers to the EAD-10 and actually trigger your drums and just make a really cool hybrid setup with the Yamaha EAD-10. And there you go, some fantastic gift options for the drummers in your life. If you want any more information about any of the products I talked about today, make sure you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nick DiVirgilio.